Come on, son. Come on, son. Get out of here, slime. Yeah. You can get out now. What? What are you doing? Seven slimes? Yes. And trying to find room for a house. Okay. Also. Well, well, while you do that, let's talk about uh, let's talk about our favorite games of the year. Huh? What do you say? Does that sound like a plan? Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is a bad intro. Um. So, I don't, I don't know why we're we're just doing a dumb little thing. We, I just want to talk about games that maybe we should highlight because. I don't know. I think this coming from the perspective of an eight-year-old might be interesting to someone. You know what I mean? About to be nine-year-old. Your birthday is in a week. Yes, that is true. Um. Okay. So. So, Serge, what have you been playing lately? Let's talk about that. Um. Ever since I got my my DS, I've been playing Pokemon. Which one? Alpha Sapphire. Okay. So, what what else have you been playing every, almost every single day on the Xbox? Uh, not, I don't really play anything on the Xbox anymore. Well, maybe as of two days ago, but what have you been playing like almost every day for the past two months? Gems of War, but that is removed now. That's removed? Yes. Well, we're we're just talking about what we're playing. We're not picking our our game of the year yet. Oh, here, let me turn this down. Ah, uh, I killed the bunny. Also, oh, Serge needs to move the mic a little closer to his face. Thank you. Not that. Get out of your mouth, you nerd. As long as you don't breathe into the mic, we'll be okay. Just let me know when you're done being <laughs> Alright. Okay, so, I'll put I'll put it like this. No, don't. Come on, man. <laughs> Surge. Come on. Put it closer. Put it closer. There. That's good. That's fine. Surge can't stop being on a butthole. All right, so, so why do you like Gems of War so much? I don't like it anymore. Why don't you? What? Okay, why did you stop playing Gems of War? Because of the update. I don't like it. What? What? What did the update do that you didn't like? Every time you would want to change your team when you're about to start battle, you would have to go back to your troops and and change it. And then you would have to go all the way back. Well, shouldn't you be getting your army ready before you start a battle like that? Like, I, is it is it like you're not allowed to do it between stages or something? Yeah. Okay, I can understand that. So, like, it, you have to do, like, four or five stages at a time, right? Something like that? Well, well with... Well, you have to use gold in order to get to a battle. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those games where you're not supposed to burn through in one day. Yeah, that's it's that's how free to play games are, man. You're only allowed to play so much at a time. For those of you who don't have an Xbox or well, I, I think it's on PC. I don't know. Uh, Gems of War. It's basically Puzzle Quest. Like it's it's free to play Puzzle Quest. Better. I it has more free to play stuff than Puzzle Quest does. But it's by the Puzzle Quest people. Um who are I forgot who that um <laughs> So if they do an update and fix some things will you play again? Hope if if it's back to like the original. 
See, like, okay, so I play Final Fantasy Record Keeper a lot, as you're aware, Serge. Yeah. And you you do dungeons, and each dungeon has three to five stages, and you just pick your party and your equipment and spells and stuff before you go in there, and you can't change anything once you go into the dungeon. That's just how a lot of these games are. Like, you kind of prepare for what's what's in that, that stage. And the only thing you can do in between the rounds is uh, heal. That's using up your mithril, which is one of those, one of the like three currencies in that game. Why'd you kill that bunny? <laughs> it's gross. Because I'm a murderer. That's that's scary. Is so are, are you making a house right now? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Before zombies invade. Okay. Um, alright, so, uh, what about, you haven't played Killer Instinct in a while either. Why haven't you been playing Killer Instinct? Because I've been getting, getting distracted with other games. Okay, fair enough. I think we'll go back into it a little harder once Season 3 hits. Although they just added that combo assist thing. I, I We'll check it out. We'll check that out later. Um, so... What what else? What have you been playing on the Wii U? Uh, most mostly Mario Maker. Yep. So have you been making levels too? Have you, are you still making levels? Yeah. All right. We'll we'll probably do a video where where I try to beat Serge's level because I honestly haven't seen any of them that he's built since he made that one. You you built some of them. Well, you you've tried some of them. Yeah, but I that was forever ago. I just I'm over here slime. Maybe you can't hit him through the wall because physics and I don't know. Anyway, all right. So, uh, when was the last time you played Splatoon? Um, since that, since they did that that one Splatfest. Did you did you play in the Naughty vs. Nice Splatfest at all? I think so. Okay. So, no, are you still gonna play Splatoon? Because they're still adding stuff. Like they just added that museum stage, right? Yeah, but but that was for for like a a free thing. But Allison didn't want to mess with that. What what thing? For the stage and new weapons. What do you mean? Why 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 did she has have to mess with that? No, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't want me to get it. Why not? I don't know. I'll I'll look at it. I'll look at it. Anyway, uh, uh, somebody changes JSD and Chad uh is saying that a new stage just came out yesterday. Yeah. So have you played it all in the past couple days? No. All right. Well, maybe you can check that out. See how it is. All right. Oh, slime killed the money. Uh, yeah, yeah, you better hurry up with that house. All right. Wonder the slimes. All right, so so you've been playing a lot of Mario Maker. You've and been and a lot of Pokemon. And a lot of Pokemon. Um. So I'm I'm trying to think of games that you played that you were playing for a while. Uh, you played Shovel Knight on here, right, on the Xbox One? Yeah, but I don't really play it anymore. Well, no, I mean, that's a single-player game. Um, I well, mean, you, you said you actually beat the battle, the, the whatchamacallit, the... A chain trish. No, the, the battle toad stage. Oh, yeah, I, be I beat that. Which is crazy to me. Um, yeah, it, was, it took me multiple tries. Well, yeah, me too. <laughs> uh... So, okay. So, can you think of any other games that you played this year? Oh god. No, that, that's not the zombie. Um. Oh, there's one. Sam Bramble. Uh, as soon as Surge is done dealing with this. Why don't you hurry up with that house so you don't get invaded anymore? Um, Build the other wall. 
so that I'll be safe. Yeah. Well, slimes are still gonna make it. Can they just climb up walls or what? They could jump oh, over. That zombie just jumped over your wall, dude. Ugh! I jumped over them. <laughs> All right. How do you how do you feel about Mario Party 10? We played that. That came out this year, and you wanted to play that all the time. Yes, but you get, but you guys never wanted to. Because it takes forever, and the main mode is like, ah. Uh, what? I don't know. It's just like super. But we could play on lazy days. I I guess we could. But you I don't guys know. still we'll probably never get, want to play. We'll probably get one more round of uh of. Mario Party in at some point soon. Uh, when did Smash come out? Not this year. Cause I know you were playing that a lot too. Okay, that came out last year. Yeah. I know you've been playing that a lot this year too. Anyway, I'm ready to kill some zombies. Why don't you make a torch so you can see things? And then build the freaking wall already. All right, so, so the thing with Surge, is, and I was exactly like this as a kid, so I can't say anything, is that he hasn't played that many games other than what we've been playing for the channel. Yeah. And like, okay, how do you feel about Hyrule Warriors? I well, that was last year too. Yeah. God, we played that a lot too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of what else you played like by yourself this year and that that's about it. Shovel Knight. <laughs> yeah. Really, Shovel Knight just came out on Xbox One this year, so that counts. <sighs> kind of. Um What year did when that when did Shovel Knight come out? Shovel Knight the original release came out last year. But what, it's What about Lethal League? Lethal League came out like two years ago. Oh. You were yeah. We we Rediscovered Lethal League, and we we have a video up on our channel. Uh, Jim and I. Oh my God! Just build your house already, man. Oh, it's fine. It's not fine. You're. I could go that for survive. That thing is gonna kill you for sure. That's what you think. That is what I think. See, look at that. You don't have any like. It's fine, I only drop gold because I'm on normal. Uh, we did not play Mega Man Legacy because, uh, we... We have all the old Mega Man games in the collection on PS2, so I don't feel like it's necessary to buy the, the Legacy star. collection. What no, is the don't. star for? Um... You can make other stuff with it. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. That that's the that's the thing about this game, this year. There's been a whole lot of re-releases of stuff that I just don't care about because I have the original, and I don't really care if it's pretty prettier or not. Although to be fair, I did. I got they put out Tomb Raider remastered definitive edition, whatever it's called. The definitive edition. Yeah, they put that out on Games the Gold for free, so I played it again because I really enjoy that game, and it was prettier. And you're playing Rise of the Tomb Raider now. Yeah, I'm. I'm still going through Rise of the Tomb Raider right now. It's a really, really pretty, really good game. It's more of the same, but it's still. It's a really, really good game. IMO. I am HO. This guy's still trapped even though I let him out. Maybe he's scared of bunnies. No, he's not. You don't know that. Y yes, I do. See, look, he's not going anywhere near that bunny. Oh. Oh, now there's a zombie. Anyway, um. I guess I'll go into my personal things, like. Like, I was going through the list of stuff that, like... Came out this year. Yeah, and... Like, stuff I I played and I also really liked was not that many. Um, 
Oh yeah, Serge, how are you liking Pokemon Shuffle? Pokemon Shuffle? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Because you just got a 3DS, and that that came out on 3DS like the beginning of this year, but it came out on phones later this year, and I I've been playing the heck out of it on my phone. <laughs> And Surge is also playing it. It's, on my DS. It's a really, really decent match three or more game. It's match three, I guess, if you want to call it that. Three, four, five. I don't know, like, is there a subgenre for, like, the match three games where you take creatures in the battle? Like, Puzzles and Dragons. Is Puzzles and Dragons a genre now? Because it really seems that way. Anyway. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Shuffle. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy Record Keeper, like I was saying. You need, you need build higher walls, man. <sighs> Otherwise, you're just gonna keep getting zombies. Um, from one side. Yeah, and I've also been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat X, the mobile version and the console version. Um, both of them are actually really, really surprisingly good. Uh, let's see. And you got Jason for both. Yeah. I don't let Surge watch me play Mortal Kombat, just for the record. I just want to put that out there. He's seen some things. Like, like when we used to go to Subway Fight Night a few years back, like, he was there when Mortal Kombat was happening. It couldn't be stopped, but... Because I was I'm not, there. I'm not going out of my way to let him watch Mortal Kombat. Anyway. Well, you would let me watch the original Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Only because, yeah. And that fake Mortal Kombat. Fake Mortal Kombat? Yeah. What are you talking about? The one that, like, like it's a chain to do a fatality. What? I don't, I don't, rem I don't remember much. You know, zombie just killed a bunny. Anyway. Um... As far as fighting games, like, we've pretty much just been playing Mortal Kombat and Killer Instinct. I mean, I've been playing Mortal Kombat, and Serge and I have been playing Killer Instinct. I've been playing Mortal I've been playing Killer Instinct more than you. Not yet, dude. I, I know. Believe me. And Serge really got into Lethal League for a little bit. Yeah. He was always asking to play it. Um, and I still sort of am. Yeah. <laughs> eh. I don't know. Beyond that, like, there haven't been that many fighting games that we kept up with. Like, Surge, Surge spent, like, a week straight playing Street Fighter. Yeah, and I'm still playing it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of glad for that, because he needs to learn some basics with Street Fighter. We're working on that. When he was asking me all sorts of questions about the Street Fighter story. Five. Five. And, and Street Fighter Five. I just meant, like, the story. You were asking me, like... I wonder what Blanca was like as a kid. And Seth. And Seth, yeah. Anyway, um, Ori and the Blind Forest. You watch me play that, right? Yeah. That that is, in my opinion, the most pretty game this year. Like straight up, I. Is this is it the game of the year for you? It's close. I I don't know. Like honestly, like I love Metroidvanias. I love. Very, I love pretty games like Child of Light last year. Yeah. That was a very pretty game. Um, yeah, Orient the Blind I, Forest is also surprisingly hard. Like, legitimately, almost Super Meat Boy levels of hard. It's an insanely I I remember. Platformer. I remember in Mario Maker, someone made a Super Meat Boy level and it was real hard. Yeah, that's probably not that hard to do. Because saw blades and spikes everywhere. Yes. Um, yeah, and Ori, Ori's a, a pretty strong contender for Game of the Year for me, right now. Uh, Krypton and Necrodancer, I used to play that all the time. Yeah, and it was very hard for you. Well, yeah, no, it's still, I still haven't beaten Zone 4, like, straight up. Um, like, the soundtrack to that is amazing, and you know, it's a very simple game. You're just moving to the beat. What are you doing? Is that just... You can change the... Yes. 
Oh, oh, that's your gravestone. Okay. Yeah. My gravestone. <laughs> that's weird that you can change what's on the gravestone. <laughs> I never really watched Terraria that much. Like, it, it's always been... And also, you never knew how to pronounce it. Was it Terraria? Oh, uh, oh. No, what? it's how Terraria. Do you pronounce it? Okay. I've always said it like that, though. Yeah, but you said Terraria before. Dude, it's not that big a difference. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> Crit and Necro Dancer, if you like music games and you like dungeon crawlers, it's it's for you. It, it's been in early access for a while, but it came out officially in, like, September, I think. Um, and they added a new zone and characters and... They put out an official soundtrack, three different versions of the official soundtrack. Uh, Danny B, uh, that Family Jewel 7X dude, did like metal versions of all the songs, which are pretty legit. And uh, now I have a door! Yay! There's another version of the soundtrack by A Rival, who uh, is actually really good. Uh, yeah, if you like music games and dungeon crawlers, like I said, Necrodancer is for you. Um, what else? Hey, look where I'm at. I, I'm at. Uh, I honestly, like, Life is Strange is probably my favorite, like, adventure game of this year. Like, it's done Telltale game better than Telltale has in a long time. And I'm not saying it's glitch free, but it's it's pretty close. Pretty close. Like to as somebody free. who play has played every single Telltale game aside from like the Borderlands one, which I watched Deadpool do. Like I I'm really tired of Telltale <laughs> using the same freaking engine for the past eight years. Day. Buddy. Um, can I tell you something? Yes. There are many different colored slimes. I can see that. You've only seen two out of a lot. Well, I, I, it's safe to assume any game with slimes in it is going to have a bunch of different colored slimes. Like, the original slimes from Dragon Quest. Like, the original Dragon Quest, there's always been multiple types of slimes. Slimes are have been a thing in games and whatnot for decades. Um, let's see. I already talked about how pretty Ori and Blind Forest is, but, like, Vanishing of Ethan Carter, the redone version that they put out this year on PS4 and PC, it's pretty close. It's, like, they made that game prettier. They redid the entire thing in Unreal Engine 4, and it it's pretty ridiculous. Um just in terms of how gorgeous the scenery is. Whoa. Oh no, I'm, oh, near, I'm near I'm near I'm near desert. You're gonna die. I will. Eh. You cannot fight that thing, dude. You need a bow and arrow or something. Alright, um you watched me play Gauntlet a lot, right? Yeah. You saw me play Gauntlet. They put out Gauntlet. Gauntlet came out last year, but Gauntlet Slayer Edition, the big old update, in which they added a whole bunch of. I mean, they they redid pretty much all the stages, added a couple of enemies, made everything prettier, made the UI a lot better. It was a huge update, and it needed it desperately. And they're doing daily coliseums too, so there there's. There's more content there. If you like... It, it feels more like original Gauntlet than it did at first. So if you see that for cheap on PC, which it it is, it constantly is, uh, on like bundle stars and whatnot, are then you check it out. Are you sure can on, on green slime? <laughs> Just use the freaking sword. It's faster. Poor Brett. See? 
Um, what else? I've been playing a lot of Fallout, but I think everyone has. I, it's more Fallout. Like I, it's, it's something I enjoy. It's, I wouldn't call it my game of the year. It's more Fallout. Either you're into that or not, because it's the same game. Like it's it's basically Fallout Three Part Two, the way it's set up. Like that's that's kind of what I wanted though. So I don't know. Yeah, Allison's been getting getting way into it. Yeah, to her, for her, it's... freaking Fallout's a new Minecraft. Yeah. Like she's stopped playing Minecraft and has started building stuff in Fallout. She literally like I got home yesterday morning. And she, like, I had a, a text that was like, I'm going to load up Fallout while I'm getting ready for work and show you my my uh, settlement. Because I'm so proud of what I did. Hey, look, it's a swimming slime. Anyway. Um, I don't know, Sergi. What? What, do you, what, was your, what was your favorite game this year? If you had to pick one, um, that would be Mario Maker. I think that's pretty fair. Just considering the sheer amount of content, one, they keep adding to that game, and two, you can do with that game. Yes, you can do whatever you want. Anything you can imagine. I I have made a level. I made one level, which I'll I'll be posting the code for it on my channel on on our channel at some point no um, slime we we need to do a mario maker video just cuz i i have no idea can, as soon as we can move the Wii down here yeah I've, I've been i've been lazy about that i'm sorry um hey look it's where i was going to build yeah why did you stop building there because i lost my area okay like honestly, man, I I've played a lot of games this year, uh, but I also haven't played a lot of games this year. Like, like we still haven't gotten around to Undertale. I yeah, and I still want to play it. Yeah, that's fine. It's just like we just haven't gotten around to it. I I don't know. No, so I'm already giving myself spoilers for it. Why? By looking it up on YouTube. No, by listening it to it in in Mario Maker because people are making music stages for Undertale. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Um, man, honestly, if I had to pick a game, like I kept going back to, I'd I that would be Fallout. No, no, like Fallout just came out last month, man, and like I've. I haven't put as much time into it as I thought I would, like mainly because of work, but also because like, okay, this is more Fallout, and this is a game I used to relax, exploring the waste. It's I I don't know how to feel about Fallout other than I enjoy it. I wouldn't call it like this spectacular thing. It's a it's a really good Fallout game, like it's. I really love Fallout 3, and this is more Fallout 3, basically. No! Is that another vulture? Yes. And also, I'm in the desert. Yeah. And also, there is a boss in the desert, and I am not prepared for that boss. Okay. Um... I guess... Honestly, I, if I really had to pick it a game of the year, it would be a tie between... Ori in the Blind Forest, and... Shh. Life is Strange. Like, I, I really enjoyed my time with Life is Strange. Like, you could pick a million holes in that plot, but that's how every time travel story is ever, so... Um... It, it was just a very mature game. And a very immature game in the best ways. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, I know everybody has Undertale on their stuff, and I still haven't played it. Uh, I've listened to the entire soundtrack. I love that soundtrack. I just haven't gotten around to playing it, because I... Because work. I don't like... I don't like games that look like they're made in RPG Maker. I don't like RPG Maker games. I don't know what it is about that style of RPG. I'm so turned off from it now. Like, the only ones I've ever enjoyed are dumb things like Barkley Show Up and Jam Gaiden. Gaiden, sorry. Gaiden. Um... I just don't know what it is about the aesthetic of RPG Maker games that turns me off so much. I, I just, I can't bring myself to actually play Undertale, but I've looked up all sorts of things about it, and I really enjoy the soundtrack, just from a musical standpoint. I like Spider Dance, and Megalovania, and, uh... I'm trying to think of the name of the song. Papy Papyrus' theme. I, I can't remember what it's called. But, um... I just really like those songs. Like it... And I, I honestly don't know if I'll ever bring myself to play Undertale. Because <laughs> I... Like... I, I don't really care about the fan base that much. They're, you know, whatever. But, I just... I don't like games that look like that anymore. I don't like top-down RPGs like that. Although, I'll admit everything they're doing with that game in terms of the meta, the fourth wall breaking, and the... the, the like, shmup-style gameplay. I commend them for it, but I just kinda don't care. Enough to play. Um... Like... Serge and I have played plenty of games. They're on, they're on the channel. We finished Plague of Shadows, the Shovel Knight expansion, uh, and that was solid, as always. And we played Shovel Knight on Xbox One before that. Um, Serge and I have been playing lots of fighting games just because of the channel. Uh, we've, we've been burning through some stuff. I don't know. It's like I've played a lot. Of games this year also that you can debate whether or not they're actually video gamey like Life is Strange and The Beginner's Guide which is the only game this year to make me actually cry why? because it deals with a lot of stuff that I am way too familiar with like depression and not wanting to be around people and stuff like that. Anyway. Um. I was playing Naissance, which is like... I play a lot of Naissance. Which is... I don't know if you saw me play that. It was a game where you're... The whole world's black and white. And like, you're just kind of platforming everywhere. You really have no idea what's going on. I don't know if you saw uh, me. No. Okay. Um... It's really solid, it's just like, that game goes on way too long, I think. It's really atmospheric, but also, like, whatever it's doing, it's taking way too long to get there. I think I got like four hours in, and it's twice as long as that, and I just don't have the patience for it. Um... Honestly, in terms of in terms of like some video game, video gamey video games, I think Ori and the Blind Forest was my favorite this year. Just period. I'm trying to think of whatever else I played like that came out this year. Like a lot of other stuff I really enjoyed came out last year. <laughs> like Never Alone, Shovel Knight. Um. random stuff like that. Most of which we have videos for up on the channel. Uh... 
Like, a lot of really good stuff came out this year. Like, Splatoon, Bloodborne, you never Mario even Maker. You played Splatoon. I, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, a lot of good games came out this year. But I just haven't gotten around to them for whatever reason. This has like been the year of me wasting time on my phone. <laughs> yes, playing Pokemon Shuffle. Playing Record Keeper. I've been playing way too much Record Keeper. Yes. Um. Oh god. Man, people can still attack me while I'm in my inventory. I've been playing... Yeah, a lot of... God, way too much Mortal Kombat, way too much... Everything. The stuff, like, the three things I, I keep rotating on my phone are Mortal Kombat X, Pokemon Shuffle, and Record Keeper, and it's been like that for the past, like, four months. I've just been deep in that mobile gaming hole. But I'm, I'm like, I keep telling myself, okay, I'm gonna play Fallout when I get home. I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play Ms. Pac-Man when I get home with Surge, and then, like, oh, it's dinner time for dinner. Oh, I gotta get ready for work. It's... We're having that modern family problem of not having enough time in the day. I'm, I'm, I think that's my one resolution for uh, 2016, is to play more video games. I'm playing, I'm pressing the right button, but the yellow present won't open. Uh... Maybe you can't do it right there. Maybe you can't do it while, <laughs> while the freaking whole bunch of zombies are around. Oh god, did it just respond to you right there? Yes. That's terrible. That is where you spawn. That is where I spawn. Alright, we've but been going on for a while. Um, I don't know, Sergi... Are you going to be playing Smash Brothers at all since Cloud is out now? I have And no. Bayonetta. I'll... 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 Do you I'll, care about Smash anymore? I'll... Because really you just got Smash on Christmas for yes. 3DS, right? Yes. So are you going to be playing that? I guess. Okay. Get out of here, zombie. And Surge just got... Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and and that is that that is my new gems of war. No Pokemon Shuffle, you mean? No Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Okay. Well, I mean, you have a new puzzle game to to be obsessed with. So. All right, I think we're done. I think we're done rambling for now. So yeah. we're just gonna futilely try to kill this demon eye. Which I will, eventually. We'll or it just ran away. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it didn't. No. They don't run away. No, they fly away. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Alright, we'll see you all there.